I know what you're probably thinking. Jeff, why do you have a bunch of random stuffed animals behind you? Let's talk about that. So all the stuffed animals that you see here are all unique trackables that can be logged on geocaching.com. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be releasing every single one of these in a really large geocache that's located in Gulf Shores that we've already found. And then we are going to track and see which of these 15 stuffed animals will travel the farthest from a year from now and then every month we will uh, I, we i will update you on where these guys are located and how many miles uh they have traveled so i'm gonna slowly introduce you introduce to you each one of these characters what their names are and uh then we will go ahead and uh drop them off and let them start the journeys so first up, we've got Buster the Hound, and there is his tracking code. Then we've got Bart the Frog, and there is his code. And then we've got Patsy the Pig Fairy, and there is her code. And then we got Smitty, and there's his code. Smitty is Garfield's cousin. And then we've got the Loving Bear, Codes right there. And then we've got Stuart the Bear. And there's Stuart's code. This is Charlie the Fluffy Sheep. And there's Charlie's code. Then we've got Thelma the Cool Cat. And her code. And then we've got Kobe the Cuddler. And it's code. Come on. There we go. And then we got Big Al the Elephant. And that's his code. This is Pinky the Unicorn. And this is Rainbow the Unicorn. And this is Sandra the Unicorn. This is Lipstick Sally. And then the last one is Snarls the Dragon Trainer. So what we're going to do is we're going to put each one of these in their own storage gallon uh, Ziploc bag. And then also I will put a note in there that says please do not take or steal the animal as this is part of a YouTube series to see how far uh, one of these can travel. So that is the next thing that we're going to do. All right, so I just finished bagging all of the contestants and each has its own bag and I made some do not keep me, I'm in a race um, kind of stickers on the bags so that people know to uh, not keep these because there is a uh, a thing that happens in geocaching where if you buy a trackable and you release it, for some reason, some people like to keep them. So hopefully these, uh, these labels here will defer somebody from keeping the item and actually keeping it on its journey for it to uh, win, win the race. So got them all bagged and ready to go. In a couple days, we'll go and we'll put them all in the huge geocache. And then, like I said, we'll... Uh, begin the race to see who is uh, going to win. So comment below, guys, in the video uh, what team uh, you are going to support. You've got 15 different uh, teams to choose, and I don't know. I think, I think I'm think i going to have to go with uh, Team Bert, Bert the Frog. So Bert the Frog is going to be my selection. I think he's going to travel the most uh, on all of them, but uh, it's all consequential depending on who picks them up and who takes them where so be kind of cool to see if some of these go outside of the united states so uh yeah so the next thing we're gonna do is uh is do that so 
And uh, I also wanted to add that I did add an incentive for people that are picking these up and taking them from cash. If they log them as dropped uh, in another cash, then I enter them into winning uh, a free trackable for continuing the journey of uh, these these trackables behind me. So it'd be I'll be very interested and curious to see, you know, what happens. Uh, let's see let's see if they all you know end up still being active a year from now. I know at least you know two or three of them should be. So, but consequentially from the past of releasing trackables into the geocaching world, a lot of them get disappear. Uh, and uh, get taken. So hopefully that's not the case here. So, all right, I'm gonna stop mumbling and uh, I think the next thing in this video is gonna be me hiding these things in that massive geocache. What is going on, Seashell Addicts? I'm here with my friend Glenn and now new friend Harry. Uh, they are joining me today. We're gonna go do some geocaching. I'm gonna turn these muggles, because that's what you guys are. Yes. Prior to, if you haven't found any geocaches or don't know what it is, we call you muggles. It's very interesting. Well, that's going to change. So we're going to turn them into pros today. And also, guys, we're releasing those trackables that I filmed a little while ago. They are down here in this bag. So we're going to take Glenn and Harry to their first ever geocache. It's a huge geocache. I'm going to let them see if they can find it. If they can't find it, then they may not be meant for geocaching. <laughs> oh, heck no. Let's so go. we're, we're going to get on our bikes and head to the first spot. All right, we made it to our first location. I'm let you guys know that you are within about 20 feet of the geocache. And it is the size of a suitcase. Oh. It is the size of a suitcase? Yes. Okay. All right. So we're going to film them trying to find it right now. All right. Glenn found the geocache in under five seconds. So that's impressive. <laughs> Record time. Record time. That means that she's probably going to be good for this. All right. And then I've got my bag of trackables down here. And Glenn and Harry are going to help me deposit them from here into the geocache. And then they're going to start their journey. And random people are gonna start picking it up. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh. Well, that's Pinky the Unicorn. Oh, you can keep him in the bag. I'll keep him in the bag. Yep. Oh, this is cute. That's uh, Loving Bear. That's Bert the Frog. <clears throat> Hashtag Team Bert. Oh my gosh, wait, is this Rainbow Dash? Yep, Rainbow, the Unicorn, Lipstick Sally. <laughs> Lipstick Sally? Yep. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love That's this. That's Stuart the bear. Why am I having fun with life? I know. Like, this is just, honestly, this is what I like. Oh, oh, and there's a Peppa. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got these all at uh, Goodwill, so. Oh, did you? Yep. I love that. Oh, look at that. That's, that's Smitty. That's Garfield's cousin, so. There we go. Look at that. We filled up the cache. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's full. Everybody make it like a funny pose. Hold on, I gotta do it again. Uh, Alright, funny pose. Here we go. Got it. Cool. Awesome. Alright, good. Now we get... All right, cool. And now we're off to the next cache. Glen Allen. Oh. Miss Glen Allen. <laughs> Glenn, do what you were doing before and lean over and look to your right. Good. Yep. That is a good find right there. Go. 2021, bro. 2021, bro. 2021, man. Spring break. All right, we're at the next geocache. I've given them a hint. They're looking for something that belongs but shouldn't belong in this location. And after they get stumped, I'll give them another clue. Bible related. Too far, Harry. Too far? Yep. Oh my it's all good. All right, I'll give you a clue. In the Old Testament, when someone did something bad, people would throw these at them. Yep. Hmm. 
There they go. You got no it. Way. Yep. You found a. I only found it. You found a fake Woo! stone. <laughs> In the middle of the woods. Isn't that great? All right, we're at our next cache, and Glenn is like super close to it. Oh. Super close. You're hot. You're hot. <laughs> Ooh, okay. uh, oh, got it. Yep. Oh, boom. Oh, Very good. Oh my God. A little log look inside. I sh should have probably. Yep. Actually, I've got something we can put in there. <clears throat> Whew, man, I need to work out. Sure hill, we will. You and all three of us. <laughs> that hill killed me. Uh, so we're at our next, look, next geocache. These are called uh, letterbox caches. So before geocaching even existed, there was actually a thing called letterboxes. Something that was like created in the 70s and 80s where people would hide items in the woods called letter boxes and other people and give directions on how to go find them. Huh. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it's kinda how it's kinda like the creation of geocache. I was gonna say. So this is a letter box and the difference between a letter box and a regular cache is most people have like their usernames in like a stamp form. So they can stamp the log with their unique stamp. Interesting. They're usually pretty big. And this one is in there somewhere. Okay. So and when I say in there somewhere it's in the wilderness right behind us. So hopefully we don't find any snakes. So it is possible. So, oh, but that's why you that's why you bring friends along with you. So if they get bit, at least exactly. somebody can help somebody. Right. Chuck Norris sucks some venom out. So all right, let's go look for it. So you get to combat all the uh, spiders first. So this is why people don't like hanging out with me. So. <laughs> Like this is why I don't have friends. Oh, yeah, this this is why I'm an introvert. <laughs> Are you? Yep. I haven't been out of my house in like three days. Oh. Am I kidding? Will you ever know? I run into it. Woo! <laughs> 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 You ate, you ate that one, that's, that's for sure. That's a good way to get some protein. That's a... Oh, I see something. Uh-oh. He sees something. I see something. Is it a spider? <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. <sighs> yeah, there it is. Very good. And the moment of truth. Go. I don't know if there's a pen in there or not, but if there is, you can sign the logbook. Oh my god, there's a gift card. Ooh. A BP gift card. Nice. We all need gas nowadays. Yeah. No pen, but. Very cool. All right. Another box. Uh, wow. See, guys, wow. geocaching with friends is so much more fun than by yourself. So. And we didn't get bit by a snake. We, we did run a into spider. a spider. <laughs> Harry got some protein this morning, so. <sighs> Glenn is two for two. She found the geocache again. So they are, they are they are a good group to go geocaching with. We have not been skunked yet, so. <laughs> no, well, now that I've spoken it into existence, it probably happened. So cool. Clear the way. Boom! Cleared the way. <laughs> My God. <laughs> As they go the hard way, we'll just go the like, not so hard way. Says yeah, we're getting close. Yeah, you did. I think we walked a circle. Pretty sure. Mama didn't wait here, bitch. Cleared it. 
Oh. We had a cat that wasn't there. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all about clearing that path. I'm like, no path? <laughs> Welcome to the field. Okay. Sweet. We found Ooh. the mouse trap oh. in the woods. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Got it. Uh, I got a spider too. Great. Holy crap. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Geocaching is fun. See? All right. Good stuff. All right. Harry is unlocking. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's a, this thing has been out here for quite a while. I have a friendly surprise jump out here. Nice. Ah. Oh, okay. What we what got, got in here? There's pens and pencils and stuff too. Oh, got a uh, pack of whack a pack balloons. Interesting. Mhm. Mm Very interesting. Good old logbook. All right, we just made it to our next spot. I'm out of breath. I told uh, Glenn to set the speed, and she. Definitely went above and beyond <laughs> with that speed. As always. Yeah. Definitely burning yeah, some calories burn today. Burn We're at our next geocache, and this one is called Donation Box. Okay. So mm -hmm. use that clue. Donation Box. And look for the geocache. Nope. It is it's on there though, somewhere. There you go. Oh whoa. Oh my god. Okay. It should come right off, it's magnetic. Oh. Like a Yeah. You have found donation box. Oh, it's a whistle. It's a whistle. <laughs> Look at that, Amber Lawson was here. Alright. Alright, cool. Thank you. That wasn't too hard, was it? We found a mayonnaise jar in the middle of the woods. Lovely. That's always exciting. It's a lot of fun using multi million dollar satellites to find mayonnaise jars in the woods. So. <laughs> got all kinds of stuff in here. This one's got a pen, it's got McDonald's Holy toys crap. in it. This one is loaded yeah, up. Lit. Dump this one out, see what's inside. Well, that was a good Yo. geocache. Holy crap. We'll look through it and see if there's anything we want to keep. Now, if you guys want to keep anything, I will replace it with a seashell. So, if there's anything that catches your fancy, let me know. Fruit ninja. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, we're at our last geocache of the day. This one's called King of the Mountain. Yeah, we're looking for a regular size cache again. I believe this one's a mayonnaise jar as well. And I think it's in that. I would, I would look near that big tree, so. A big tree? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. Look at that, another mayonnaise jar. I think we found it. <laughs> what? What'd you get? The heck? What's that? <laughs> elephant on the coaster. Hilarious. Ooh, an elephant coaster. That's good. What in the actual world? That's good. Oh, there's a dime in here. Golden Empires. Oh, Alright guys, so I wanted to do a quick plug for the girl in the red hair. This is actually her the, her color of her hair. She did not dye it. She was born with the wonderful hair that she has. Uh, mm -hmm. Just as I was born with the wonderful hair that I have. But she is a, what was it, dream pop? 
Dream Pop. Dream Pop artist. Her name is Glenn Nellen Anderson. I'm going to provide a link below in the video. She's at like 989 subscribers. I'm so close, guys. So she needs 11 more, and I know that I have 11 dedicated followers on my channel that will go over and subscribe and get you to 1,000 subscribers. Okay, so let's it. go ahead and make sure that we do that for her. And if you recognize her because you guys love watching things on Netflix, she was in season one of Stranger Things. So... If you need to go back and look at that, now you can say that you've met a famous and person. And she's a geocacher. And now she's not a muggle anymore. She's a regular. I am no, she's no longer a muggle. Now she's a geocacher. Guys, so I graduated. You can do it. She, I can do it. So can you. She converted. So And so did Harry. Harry's converted as well. Yep. So, this right here. Finding Tupperware in the woods with million dollar satellites. So make sure to go check out our channel, guys. And this is the end of the video. So I'll see you guys next week for another sea show or geocaching adventure. Stay safe, friends.